morning. This is Miss Nita with the Timepiece Garden. Yes, I'm in Garden 3. A little bit of everything. Um, I, my false blue indigo have come in. I ended up having to order some. I couldn't get any of the seeds to start. So, yeah. Aren't they cute? Anyway, they get planted today. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and water like the peppers and some of the places where I have seedlings. It's an awfully big paw print. I don't remember Tosha being in here, but it's possible. Anything's possible. Anyway, yeah, it's a big paw print. I think it's Tosha's. I just don't remember her being in here. But it's okay. Everybody gets to get water today. You can tell the ground's a little dry. Now we're supposed to have rain maybe tonight ish could be as late as tomorrow so everybody gets about 15 minutes or so i don't want to overwater them but you can tell by the ground they're dry i need to water them so otherwise everybody's doing fine you know i still got a little bit of weeding up here to do and i've been weeding as i take out onions for harvest so life is awesome but i'm gonna give like the peppers some water Probably the, the flower beds here some water because my nostrums are doing well. Can't miss them. Nostrums are doing well. So are the day lilies, but some of the other stuff is kind of, uh, you know, needs a little help. And come over here on this side. Flesh! Well, I've got some orchards that have come up. Um, I want to make sure that, hey, there they are, zoom in on them, that they're uh, doing well. You know, they get the water they need because I have some over here that are like are still really small. So, everybody gets a little bit of water today. And with that, talk to you in a few. Turn the panda dog. Dillies are getting ready to bloom out. Yep, talk to you in a few. All right. I'm done working in garden three. Thank goodness, because it's in full sun. You can see the back corner over there. Ooh, I got a sneeze, still in shade. <sighs> oh, bless me. So there's my uh, blue false indigo, planted and well watered while we were still in shade. Um, and then from there, I started busting out hose since I brought the hose back here, started clipping it so I can get the branch pieces that weren't tied down yet, because I ran out last time, are now all tied down. To include on the cherry, the bottom branch over there. Um, everybody got watered while I was doing all of this. Whew. Gotta have to sneeze again. See, I still got a little shade. <coughs> Just not much. <coughs> oh, bless me. Whew. I uh, also started cutting elderberry off of my aisleways, because it's not allowed to touch the electric fence. Do it before it goes into bloom. No, Tosha, get out of my legs. Thank you. Um, yes, good girl. Good left. Good left. Um, and everybody got watered. Everybody got watered. At least 15 minutes. Some of them probably got more than 15 minutes if I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Um, all, the, all the newer comfries are doing fine. You know, they like their spots. Whew. Haven't said that. Um, I even got the fig and the persimmon that I had in the in the hoop tunnel still. They have also been planted. Um, I can go show you that in a minute. Whew. But it's probably close to lunchtime. And everybody's done. And zoom out. There you go. That way you can... Just green. I love it when a garden is green. Oh, here you go. I will leave you with the uh, first day lily in bloom. And you know, it takes everything not to eat that bad boy. Daylilies are good. They're edible. Not Lily of the Valleys. You know, daylilies. Very specific. Whew. He gets to live today. I'll snack on something else. Alright, having said that, I'm getting out of the sun. I will talk to y'all later. I was in the shed putting tools away and I could hear the tree fall. The uh, big old piece of blue sky showing right there. And if you look, it's another branch down. It's 
so that just gives you a good look at where it is. Um, so it doesn't look like it snapped the power lines. There you go. You can see the branches down there, and there's the there's the power pole. It's a large branch. It'll stay there for a little while. And when I get the woodshed built, it and its partner branch that I've not done anything with, so now there's two of them down off the same tree. That um, it all becomes firewood. I just, you know, I don't have the woodshed built yet, so I'm not doing firewood yet. Anyway, I thought I'd share. I know you've seen pictures of them. These are the uh, wild foxglove that bloom on property. And my fairy. Alright, that's awesome. That's the... That's what's left of the top of that tree. It's all good. It's all good. Talk to you in a few. So that's the fig. <laughs> Again, he was gifted to me. Uh, planted. Got a nice mulch ring. Got the wire over him so my chickens don't dig him up. I need to go ahead and get a couple more pieces of, of wood and fill him in. That way the wood holds down the wire, the wire holds down the dirt, the chickens, the possum, and the raccoons, and the armadillos, and nobody gets to dig him up. So he's in. Whew. Um, it's interesting, if you look at his leaf, he's a different species, because you can look at his leaf, than the one I currently own. So last winter he spent it in the hoop tunnel. Um, this year will be his first winter outside. But you can look compared to these leaves, since he's a completely different species. So, it's all good. I will see how he does. It's the easiest way to say that. He either will do good or he won't. Do you know? Alrighty, let me go on and get some wood for him and turn the music back on and just stay busy. I gotta close my compost bin back up. Again, you can see how dark that is. Excellent compost. Nice and dark. This is be next, might be winter, will definitely be next spring, and that'll be long term after that. You know, life's awesome. Talk to you in a little while. So, timing is everything. Well, hi, chickens. I know it's raining, huh? So I got the mullein removed. <laughs> go, 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 go. And I got everything that I wanted to get potted up. Potted up. Huh. The, uh... Come on, kitty. I know. Come on, kitty. I know. The chickens are there. Um, the newest ones I've got up against the house because this is supposed to storm. But they're here. They're outside and they're potted up. They're up against the house. Wind, rain coming off. It's not going to bother them there. Everybody else has been outside for a while. But I've got no more seedlings in the house. Everybody is outside in a pot or in the garden, which is awesome. What you doing, chickens? <laughs> what you doing, chickens? Is it raining? You gonna stay under the porch with the rain? You sure? Okay. Okay. It's nice and dry here, I know. The thunder's coming too, I know. Alright, so y'all have an awesome day. Stay dry, and we will talk to you later.